Hello everybody, and welcome to Russian Fishing 4. My name is Tucker, and I'll be the one playing the game today. So, uh, this is a brand new account. For those who don't know what Russian Fishing 4 is, it is an online multiplayer game that has some RPG elements where you upgrade skills and things focusing on fishing. Obviously, it's focused on fishing with the name Russian Fishing 4, and it's mainly based off of water bodies that are in Russia. So today we're going to go through the tutorial and talk about some next steps for options for what uh, you can do after you get into the get through the tutorial and start moving on to your next steps. So I just logged in, you get this pop up about tutorial and it puts you into Cottage Pond. So it tells you to approach the bank and the bridge. Uh, really, it's more of a dock than a bridge, but walk up here, get on the dock. And then it wants you to open your inventory. So you notice you actually have two rods here. You've got a spinning rod and you've got a telestick. The telestick is for float fishing. The spinning rod is for spinning fishing. And then the game also has bottom fishing, which we'll probably get into uh, fairly soon, but definitely not in this episode. So it wants you to pick up telestick. It's all built out. So basically this is float fishing, very similar to where you're a kid, where you have a uh, stick with a, lot, with a fishing line on it, a float, a hook, and a bait. So you pick it up. In this case, there's no actual reel on it, but later on you can put a reel on uh, float fishing as well too. And it wants you to set the depth to one meter. Uh, for those of us in America that may not know centimeters to meters well, 100 centimeters is one meter. So you, uh, you move that with plus or minus, and then when you have it set on one, it wants you to cast into that green circle. So you cast out into the green circle and kind of watch your bobber. You can press Z as in Zulu to zoom in, and you can see we're already getting a nibble. And when it goes down all the way like that, wow, I can't believe I missed that. Uh, you press the left mouse button to pick it up. So we're going to try it again, and it's actually programmed, so you have to zoom in for it to move forward. You'll notice we got a second view in the center of the bottom screen as well, too. You can move that around. You can turn that off if you want to, but I find it useful for float fishing. Now it's all the way down, and there we go. This time we actually got it, and it's a decent little crucian. So uh, this is fishing in Russia or European fishing. For those of you in America like me, there will be no bass fishing and things like that. So a lot of uh, new fish species out there. So here we got 68 experience points, and we leveled up float fishing by 0.2%. So you can keep it, you can release it. Um, if you release it, you do get double XP or a portion of your XP added on. But especially for the tutorial, they want you to keep it. And that also means you can sell it for in-game silver. So once you put the rod back in your backpack, you can do that with the backspace key. I've also mapped that up to the back button on my mouse and I find that useful personally. So now it wants you to go up to the house and grab some and grab a set of spare tackle for float fishing. So you come up here to the house and you can press Y as in Yankee for float tackle or G as in golf for spinning tackle. Uh, float tackle will give you a new rod. It gives you this bamboo rod, it gives you some old fishing line, a rusty hook. Then it also gives you 30 additional worms as well too, and a feather float and a set of sinkers. I actually gave you this set of sinkers. We already had this set. So now the game wants you to move away from Cottage Pond. So Cottage Pond, you barely ever fish at uh, very, very infrequently. Uh, it's just a starter lake. They want you to move over to Mosquito. Um, here's all the lakes that will open up as you go through. Uh, you can see the lock symbol in some of these. The way you open, the way you unlock these is through your XP um, and things. And that's really the way it is. So the first two or first three really are free. First two you'll spend a lot of time at is Mosquito and winding rivulet. So it wants you to go to Mosquito Lake. So you travel there and it is starting to get to be nighttime. So it'll be a little, maybe starting to get dark, but not too bad yet. One thing I do want to do. So at the first two lakes, um, you can get some free food, but first it wants you to sell the fish. So we come over here to the fish market. We select the crucian that we caught and we sell it for 1.12 silver. So silver is a in-game currency. You start off with 50, so we now have 51.12. You 
Now it wants you to go over to the tackle store here at Mosquito. That's over here. But on the way over there, I want to show you something else. So at Winding Rivulet and at Mosquito, you can get free food. Um, if you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see four different bars. And the second one that's yellow right now indicates your food. So if we press E as an echo here. We will eat food and you will see that slowly start going up. And the bottom bar may go up a little bit as well too for comfort for you because it is hot food. Now we'll continue on with the tutorial. Um, you can do the food once per in-game day and each in-game day is an hour in real life. So since it was almost the end of the day, I wanted to make sure I got that in. So now we're back to the tackle store. Uh, then we'll press E to go into it. And here's kind of an, here's where you can buy rods, reels, everything like that. And just scrolling through, you can see there are pages and pages and pages of everything. And there are individual tabs at the top here. So it wants us to buy maggots. So go up to baits. Uh, maggots are larva. Uh, you can just click baits and baits and see all of them as well too. So once you buy a set of maggots, uh, you can get 30 pieces for $2.40 or 2.4 silver. And you can kind of see how that goes up. Uh, this game is free to play. There is gold where you, that you can buy premium currency as well as a monthly subscription that increases your XP. But my goal here is to keep this a free to play character. So here we're going to buy 30 maggots for 2.4 silver. And then it wants you to close the uh, window. The next thing it wants you to do is make some wet bread. So you actually start with a couple of loaves of bread. And to get into this menu, I pressed N as in November. And then it has you locate the recipe called wet bread. So basically you spit on some bread or dip it in the water and make it into a ball of uh, bread. So you, like I said, you start off with eight loaves of bread and you use four of them. You can see that right here to make a set of wet bread. Sadly enough, you can actually fail this. I've seen it before. Uh, we'll see how it goes here. I was successful, so we made 30 pieces of wet bread, and we leveled up harvesting baits a little bit. For float fishing and bottom fishing, harvesting baits is important. If you're going to be mainly spin fishing, it's not as important. I like to go ahead and make both sets of, white, of wet bread, because early on it's one of the most useful things, especially if you're going after crucians and gibbles and carp-like species. So we were successful again. We now made another 30, so a total of 60. And we leveled up harvesting baits and touch as well, too. I need to mute my phone next time. Uh, then it wants you to close the recipe screen. And we finished the initial tutorial. Now it wants us go to go over to Winding Rivulet for the second part of the tutorial that's focused on spin fishing. Since that's free, we'll go ahead and do that. So we teleport over to Winding Rivulet. Takes a second to load. It's honestly not too bad for the loading times. And it puts you into Winding Rivulet. And the first time you come to Winding, it'll ask you if you want to continue with the tutorial. Since that's what we're doing here, we will say yes to that. It does have you approach the riverbank. Since, since it is dark out here, you can press F as in Foxtrot, and you will turn on your flashlight. F as in Flashlight. Um, you can use WSAD to move. You can press shift to run a little bit as well, too. I like to do that. Um, so now it wants you to take out your spinning rod. So press I again. And this time you're going to pick up this Corona fishing rod. And it's got a reel on it. It's got some line. does not have a leader, which uh, we'll talk about later on. And then it does have a lure on it as well, too. So it asks you to go ahead and pick that up. And then it wants you to set the friction break to 25. You do that by scrolling your mouse wheel up and down. And you see in the center bottom where that shows up. So we set that to 25. Then it wants you to set your rotational speed of your handle. So as you reel in, basically you can go faster and slower. And with spin fishing, that's important. And it wants you to set it actually pretty slow down to 10. I typically, I don't do a lot of spin fishing, but when I do, I'm usually much higher than 10. So here it sets you up and it wants you to hit that green circle. Um, you are early in your career. You can't cast all that well. So a lot of times I miss this first cast, but we'll see. And in this case, it looks like I came up short. So it wants me to go ahead and reel in. So we'll go ahead and reel it all the way in. You can hit it first try. Me personally, I almost always miss it because I stand too far back because I'm lazy. So I moved a little bit closer as I reeled in, and this time, 
you can hold left mouse button and you'll cast. And there's pretty decent wind since it's raining, but that time I did make it into the green circle. So now it wants you to uh, reel it in slowly and see if you get a fish. So you hold left mouse button, you reel in. You can press shift and you'll reel in a little bit quicker. A lot of people say this is programmed to always give you a bite on your first cast. My experience has been I never get a bite on my first cast and it looks like that's going to be the case here. A lot of times you may get a bite at the very end so I like to kind of let it drop like that. I did see a little bit of a nibble but I don't think we're going to get a fish on our first cast. So video proof that you do not always get a fish on your first cast and spin fishing in the tutorial. So we get to try it all over again. I hope that got there. Nope, that was short. Uh, there is a pretty good six meter per second wind, so I'm not entirely surprised. But I'm gonna reel in again and throw it out again. So I'm gonna make sure I give it some time to fall into the water and then we'll start reeling it in and see if maybe we get better luck this time. A couple nibbles there, but no fish. And yet again, second cast, no fish. So we'll cast again. Uh, you may have noticed there that I went straight to 120%. If you hold shift while casting, you will do a maximum cast. This time I'll just face it straight on and see if that makes a difference. It shouldn't, but we'll see. For me, this is what spin fishing is. I have never been good at spin fishing. I don't enjoy it too much in game. I'll do some trolling behind the boats, but as far as true spin fishing, I just don't have the luck that a lot of people do. It is nighttime, so it may not be the best. I'll turn off my flashlight, see if that makes any difference. The rain may be scaring some fish off too. So there I got my furthest cast ever. Um, it does keep track of that and kind of tell you that as you level up, as you get different gear, you'll be able to throw your bait out further. Or in this case, your lure, since it is spin fishing. Since I haven't been successful, I'm going to kind of just reset it, move away from the bank, and then come back. Sometimes I've seen that helps reset the game, especially if you miss a cast. I 
honestly think the rain is playing into it. I may end up having to cut this part out if we keep casting over and over. Now the rain stopped, we'll see if that helps.
almost feel like I need to just skip this part of the tutorial. This is pathetic. There we go. Got a fish at the last second. Um, you can press right click to kind of lift the pole up. And here we finally caught a fish because we have a light rod on. We actually get a bonus to XP. So we we caught the chub here. We'll go ahead and keep that one. Most people catch a perch there. So that's even further proof. It's not uh, guaranteed to be a programmed fish. But we'll go over here. The fish market at uh, winding is right here. So we'll sell that. It's worth basically nothing. So that kind of covers the main tutorial. Other things to know about the game, everything, every water body has a cafe as well too, or at least most of them do. The cafe will give you bonus money for catching certain types of fish. So if you catch one river mussel that's over 30 grams, you get three silver for it. Two Chinese sleepers, this one is fairly easy early on. Roaches are easy early on. Gudgeon you can get pretty easily. Bleak are a great one, and especially since there's two different orders. That would be something that uh, if we we're continuing on, which we may here in a little bit any anyway, with uh, the next episode, I may fo I would probably focus on bleak. Uh, zebra mussels kind of hard to get early on, especially, but you it's another way of making silver and a lot of the game is gated behind silver so silver is used to buy your rods your reels your baits your all of that type of stuff so uh, that really covers the main topics that i wanted to at least as part of the tutorial so we'll go ahead and wrap up the tutorial here and then we will start a new episode where we kind of talk about what i plan to do with this series so Especially since it took forever to catch that one uh, spin fish, we'll go ahead and cut it off here and then start with a uh, next episode. So thank you all very much. Have a good one. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to do all that. And we will talk to you all later. Have a good one.